Continuing where we left off last time. Time Traveling in the Omniverse. Season 2. Harmony Beyond Hell. A Neo Genesis, Part 2. Chapter 5. Heaven on Earth Vision. News of Hell's transformation had trickled upwards, reaching the pearly gates of heaven. The celestial bureaucracy, used to a predictable flow of souls, was abuzz with curiosity. This prompted Neo to make a bold proposal. Project, Heaven on Earth Vision. Using a salvaged fragment of the architect's code, Neo could send out temporal invitations. These invitations, delivered through dreams, would allow individuals across time to experience a glimpse of their ideal world. This collective consciousness, fueled by billions of dreams, would then manifest a temporary utopia on Earth. The reception in heaven was mixed. Some angels saw it as Neo meddling with the natural order. Others, however, felt a flicker of hope. Could a taste of heaven spark a positive change in the living world? Finally, after much debate, permission was granted. Across the globe, dreams bloomed. People of all backgrounds dreamt of vibrant landscapes, abolished borders, and societies built on understanding. A farmer dreamt of fields forever fruitful, a scientist dreamt of disease eradicated, a musician dreamt of a world where every voice was heard. The dreams, woven together by the temporal invitations, began to paint a reality on Earth. Golden fields of wheat shimmered where deserts once sprawled, towering cities transformed into living ecosystems, their buildings breathing with sustainable technology. Languages, once barriers, became bridges as universal understanding took root. The world pulsed with an energy unseen since the dawn of time, the energy of collective hope. Word spread like wildfire. Billions, drawn by an irresistible pull, converged on this temporary paradise. Strangers from all corners of the globe shared meals, stories, and dreams. Barriers of race, religion, and ideology dissolved as people discovered the beauty of human connection. For a glorious week, the earth basked in this collective vision. Laughter echoed across the fields, languages intertwined in a symphony of unity. For the first time, humanity glimpsed its full potential, not as individuals, but as a single interconnected species. The week, however, had a predetermined end. Slowly, the dream-woven utopia began to recede. Buildings reverted to their former state. Fields returned to their natural landscapes, yet a profound change remained. The world, though returned to its physical state, felt different. The collective vision had left an indelible mark on the hearts of humanity. People looked at each other with newfound respect, the taste of paradise leaving a longing for something more. Governments, inspired by the utopia's efficiency and inclusivity, began implementing policies towards a more unified world. While Project, Heaven on Earth vision was temporary, its impact was permanent. It served as a powerful reminder that heaven wasn't just a place beyond the clouds, but a state of being achievable here and now. And Neo, the once reluctant savior, had become a beacon, not just for the damned in hell, but for all who dared to dream of a better tomorrow. The future was uncertain, but with the seeds of collective hope planted, humanity had a renewed purpose, to nurture the vision of heaven on earth, not for a week, but for generations to come. Chapter 6. The Manifestation Page. The success of Project. Heaven on Earth vision had a profound effect on Neo. Witnessing the collective potential for good ignited a burning question within him. Could he, too, reconcile his own fractured self? He retreated to a secluded chamber within hell, a place untouched by the bureaucratic chaos. Here, in a space of stark white and echoing silence, a single flickering scroll materialized, the manifestation page. It served as a mirror, reflecting not just Neo's physical form, but the warring aspects of his being the one and the anomaly. The one stood tall, cloaked in righteous purpose, his eyes blazing with unwavering conviction. The anomaly, his darker counterpart, radiated a chilling power, a constant reminder of the destructive potential Neo had once wielded. For years, Neo had suppressed the anomaly, fearing his own power. But here, in the stillness of the chamber, he knew denial wouldn't suffice. He needed to understand, to integrate, to find a way to coexist with both parts of himself. With a deep breath, Neo extended a hand towards the anomaly. This wasn't a gesture of dominance, but of peace. His voice, when he spoke, 
was surprisingly calm. We are not separate, he said, his words echoing in the chamber. You are not the monster I feared you were. You are my strength, my resilience. Together, we are the one, in all our complexity. Silence stretched for a beat, broken only by the faint flicker of the scroll. Then, a change, the anomaly, once a menacing figure, began to shift. The harsh edges softened, the cold fury replaced by a flicker of understanding. From the swirling essence emerged a new figure, smaller in stature, yet radiating an undeniable force. It was Grogu, the child he had encountered in the dollhouse adventure. His large eyes filled with an ancient wisdom. In this moment, Neo understood. Grogu wasn't just a manifestation of his nurturing side, he was the embodiment of a new beginning. The reconciliation of the One and the Anomaly had birthed not just acceptance, but a sense of purpose. The hero and the anti-hero weren't meant to be locked in eternal combat. They were two sides of the same coin, and together, with Grogu as their guide, they could forge a new path. A path that embraced both power and compassion, a path that walked the line between order and chaos to create something truly extraordinary. Neo, no longer just the one, looked at the manifestation page with newfound clarity. He was ready to embrace his whole self, ready to lead not just hell, but all of existence, towards a future brimming with possibilities. The fight might not be over, but Neo, finally at peace with himself, was ready to face whatever came next. The future was uncertain, but with a unified self and Grogu by his side, he was prepared to walk a path illuminated by the combined light of the One and the Anomaly. Chapter 7, Bonus Credit Scene The camera pans across a bustling marketplace in a newly remodeled corner of hell. Gone were the fiery pits and gnashing demons, replaced by bustling stalls selling demonic macrame keychains and eternal sunshine, scented candles. At one stall, Sauron, the Dark Lord himself, was attempting to haggle with Belial over a particularly stylish pair of flame-resistant yoga pants. Come on, Belial, be reasonable. Soren's deep voice rumbled like distant thunder. These pants have minimal lava seepage. Perfect for hot yoga. Belial, sporting his signature comb over and a suspiciously tight tank top, crossed his arms. Minimal seepage, yes, but no guarantee. And for this price? Absolutely not. Suddenly, a voice sliced through the air. All right, you two, break it up. No arguing in the marketplace. It was Hillary Clinton, looking surprisingly relaxed in a pair of yoga pants that would make Belial jealous. Sauron scowled. And who are you to tell me what to do? Hillary raised an eyebrow. Honey, I negotiated peace treaties in the Middle East. You think a grumpy Balrog with a shopping list is going to scare me? Sauron sputtered, momentarily speechless. Belial, seizing the opportunity, slapped the yoga pants on the counter. Sold, but be warned, lady, even minimal seepage can leave a real scorch mark. Hillary chuckled, tossing a bag of demonic glow sticks onto the counter. Don't worry, Belial, I'm prepared. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a flame-spinning class to catch. As Hillary strutted away, Sauron shook his head, but a hint of a smile played on his lips. Humans, he muttered, always so unpredictable. The camera pulls back, revealing the marketplace in all its chaotic glory. Demons haggled over demonically possessed potholders, cherubs practiced their air guitar skills, and a group of souls in tie-dye shirts debated the merits of organic brimstone. A faint chuckle echoes through the scene. Looks like even hell can change, a voice whispers. The camera pans up, revealing Neo and Trinity, perched on a balcony overlooking the scene. A warm light bathes their faces, reflecting the unexpected chaos and camaraderie below. Trinity leans on Neo's shoulder, a smile playing on her lips. Who knew eternity could be so, well, interesting? Neo nods, gazing out at the bustling marketplace. Maybe hell wasn't meant to be just about punishment. Maybe it was meant to be a chance to start over. The camera fades to black, leaving the audience with a sense of hope and a lingering chuckle. The afterlife, it seems, wasn't just about fire and brimstone anymore. It was a place of change, of second chances, and maybe, just maybe, a place where even a dark lord could learn to appreciate a good pair of yoga pants. Epilogue, a tapestry of eternity. 
The celestial rift shimmered as Neo and Trinity stepped back onto Earth. Their journey through the cosmic realms leaving an indelible mark on their souls. The echoes of the cosmic reckoning still resonated within them, a symphony of redemption and transformation. As they gazed upon the transformed Earth, they witnessed the harmonious integration of the higher dimensions into the familiar landscape. Cities stood tall, adorned with ethereal hues and structures that defied earthly conventions. Nature, too, bore the fingerprints of celestial influence, with vibrant flora and fauna coexisting in a dance of cosmic equilibrium. The luminaries, having accompanied them through the rift, conveyed a sense of fulfillment and purpose. The cosmic tapestry, once frayed and torn, now pulsed with renewed vitality. The multiverse, a vast expanse of interconnected stories, awaited the next chapters of existence. In the aftermath of their cosmic odyssey, Neo and Trinity found themselves bestowed with extraordinary abilities that transcended the limitations of the mortal realm. Neo could manipulate the fabric of reality, a true architect of existence. Trinity discovered a harmonious connection with the cosmic energies, her presence radiating a soothing aura that brought balance wherever she walked. Their love, forged through trials and triumphs, remained the anchor in this newfound reality. Hand in hand, they embraced the transformed Earth, ready to face the challenges and wonders that lay ahead. The architect's words lingered in their minds, the dance of dimensions was unending. Yet, for now, the tapestry of eternity seemed woven with threads of hope, joy, and the promise of a harmonious existence. As Neo and Trinity walked into the radiant sunset, their silhouettes etched against the cosmic skyline, a sense of peace settled over the world. The echoes of Eden, the cosmic reckoning, and the dance of dimensions had converged into a harmonious finale. And so, the multiverse continued its eternal dance, with Neo and Trinity becoming guardians of its cosmic secrets. As the cosmic tapestry unfolded, their story became a legend, a tale of love, transformation, and the boundless possibilities woven into the fabric of eternity. In the hearts of those who witnessed their cosmic journey, the echoes of Neo and Trinity's odyssey reverberated, a reminder that even in the vastness of the multiverse, the power of love and the pursuit of a harmonious existence could shape destinies and transcend the boundaries of time and space. And thus, the final chapter of their cosmic adventure concluded, leaving behind a world bathed in the celestial glow of a happy ending. The multiverse, a grand tapestry of stories, awaited the next cosmic tale, and Neo and Trinity, having etched their legacy into the cosmic fabric, walked hand in hand into the infinite possibilities of eternity. Glowing Star Sparkles support Futurescape on Patreon. Sparkles Glowing Star. Are you a fan of cosmic adventures that push the boundaries of imagination? Do you crave stories that blend humor, heart, and mind-bending twists? Then join us on Patreon and become a part of the The Vegas Bridge community. By becoming a patron, you'll gain exclusive access to behind-the-scenes content, including Fire Insider updates, get the latest news and sneak peeks about upcoming chapters, character developments, and plot twists before anyone else. Collision Exclusive Concept Art Dive deep into the creative process with exclusive concept art, sketches, and designs from the talented artists behind Harmony Beyond Hell. Rainbow Live Q&A Sessions Join us for live Q&A sessions with the creators, where you can ask burning questions, share your theories, and connect with fellow fans. Clapperboard Early Access Be the first to read each new chapter of Harmony Beyond Hell before its release to the public and experience the cosmic adventure unfold in real time. High Voltage Patron-Only Community Connect with other patrons in our exclusive Discord community, where you can discuss your favorite moments, share fan art, and collaborate on exciting projects. Party Popper Special Rewards Receive personalized shoutouts, signed merchandise, and other exciting rewards as a token of our appreciation for your support. Your contribution on Patreon helps us continue creating and sharing the epic saga of Harmony Beyond Hell, allowing us to invest in better production quality, expand our universe, and bring more joy and inspiration to fans around the world. Join us on Patreon today and become a part of the cosmic journey that's redefining storytelling in the multiverse. Thank you for your support, and may the cosmic forces of harmony guide your path.